Hello everyone and welcome to this video on integrating Power BI with other applications. I am Tim Weinsapple and in this video I am going to show how you can integrate Power BI into your PowerPoint presentation and this can be integrating either reports or just visuals themselves. Um, now the great thing about this is when you do that your report is directly interactive even while you are in PowerPoint showing the presentation. So let me show you what I mean by that. I'm going to jump over here. I have a sample Power BI report that I have. And let's say I want to present this to the team, say it's in a weekly meeting, I want to give an update to, to things. Um, what I would normally do is take a picture of this, uh, you know, a screenshot, and then paste it into my presentation. So uh, I've done that here. Let me advance the slide deck. And you'll see here as I have a snapshot of that. Um, of the report that I can show. The downside is I can't interact with this. So if I want to, you know, you know, if I want to showcase um, certain things or I want to drill into the data while I'm doing my presentation, um, I'm gonna, I can't do it directly in PowerPoint. I'd have to jump over back to my Power BI report and I don't want to do that because I don't want to change the flow of the report. However, with uh, Power BI, you can integrate it directly into your slide deck and not even skip a beat here. So let's let me show you how you go about doing that. All right, so what I'm gonna do here is let me jump over to my PowerPoint editing. So switched over to the uh, editing my slide deck, and I'm going to jump over to a new slide here. Now what I want to do is add in my report. Now this is very easy to do. All I have to do is go up here to the uh, insert uh, my toolbar. Yeah, I see this Power BI option. Now, if you don't see this, you might have to actually add this in. So I've already done that. And once I've once you do it, it'll be there all the time. I will go in and what it'll do is it'll ask you for the URL for your report or the visual itself. And I'll get to that one here in just a moment. So let's jump back over to the report. Switch over here. There we go. There is, I'm back in my report now. A couple of places I can do this. I can go ahead and just copy the URL directly up here. Um, or you can go here to, if I go up here to share and go ahead and copy the link and copy that link as well. Either of those will work just fine. And I will jump back over here to jump back over to the slide deck and let's paste that in. And then it might take a minute here for the report to load. Um, one other thing I noticed is in my case, um, if the report doesn't load fully, you know, I've seen cases where like maybe a visual doesn't you know, fully come in or doesn't appear there. Like in my case, I can, I've got different options that I can interact with my report and it'll, it'll do that. But in my case, my report is showing up uh, just normal. Um, but you'll notice right away, and I'm even in PowerPoint editing my slide deck, I'm already interacting with my report as if I'm in Power BI Direct. The other advantage is I can actually size this how I want. I can even make this. Uh, we'll go ahead and do that. For this one, let's just make it and cover the full uh, width of the page. Now, one thing I've noticed is when you are doing, if you're using the PowerPoint widescreen format, which I am here, and you use a standard canvas in Power BI, they tend to work, um, they tend to fit very nicely. So, just another quick tip there. So that's all you have to do to uh, embed your report. So now if I jump back over to, let's just jump over to the slideshow. Do that here. And I'm in, here's my, uh, this is the pasted image that I did. But now if I go to the next slide, here I am actually presenting in my PowerPoint. I can go ahead here and interact with this right in my slide deck. Again, I'll go back to my this was my image page so all right so there you have it that was the easy way and that was adding the full report so i'll go there and anything else that i've got i've got filters on here all of this is interactive um like i said just like you were working in power bi now in this case i've added my full report but what happens if you just want visual and let me show you that just as easy to do uh, let me jump back over to my powerpoint here editing there we are let's go to the next slide 
Uh, it's basically the same thing. I've got my Power BI uh, add-in up here. I'm going to click that. It asks for the URL, and now we just have to jump back over to Power BI to grab that URL of the visual itself. So I didn't find that. Right here, we are back in. Now I'm back in my Power BI report. Um, and, and, and I might not have mentioned this, but I am using a published report. Of course, I have to be a published report here. Uh, but let's say I want to grab just this visual here. If I scroll, if I move my cursor over to the top right of your report, find uh, the little um, icons up here and go to more options, go to share, and then link to this visual. You will bring that up. It gives you the option to copy it. I, I click it a couple of times. And now what I've done is I've made a copy of the URL just to that visual. So jump back to PowerPoint. And I will paste that in. And then again, it may take a second or so for the visual to load. And now you can resize this as you fit. Me too. We'll finick here. A little bit. There we go. Finick. Okay, and you can size this as you as you need, and I can you can edit multiple visuals on this same page. Now, one thing to be aware of, if I go back to this previous example where I loaded in my full report, you'll notice I've got this visual here. If I interact with other visuals, that of course will filter um, other visuals. If you do add in, if I were to add in, say this this um, table up here. Uh, separately on this slide, there is no interactivity. So if you do want visuals to be interactive, you got to make sure you're adding in that report page. So um, that's all there is to adding either in, um, embedding either in the full report itself, or if you just want to add a visual, that's easy to do as well. Now let me show a couple of tricks that I've learned along the way as well. So the first trick I want to do is let's I'm going to go back up to this previous one where I added the full report. And if I go to the slide deck, jump back to the slideshow. What you'll notice is I have this um, on the right side, I've got the filters option, right? This is the filters option that shows up in any of your published reports. Um, again, that filter pane will also show up is here because it is part of your report, but you can actually hide this because I tend to tend to find if I'm doing a presentation, maybe I don't want this showing. Um, you can actually easily hide this. Let me show you how to do that. All you had to, all you have to do is, um, if you go over to Power BI, um, jump back there, my report, and you can do this either in um, Power BI Desktop or even in a published report. But if I, if I am looking at my report here, let me see. There we go. Get it back. Um, you'll notice I've got the filters here. All you have to do is um, either in Power BI Desktop, you can do the same thing, or I can do it here to a published report. Uh, I'm in my published report. I'm gonna go ahead and edit it. This puts me in edit mode. And all you have to do is expand the visual pane. And this um, icon here, if I click on it, now it'll hide it. Uh, when I reload the report, it will hide it, um, uh, your filter pane. So if I go ahead and do that, let's go ahead and save that. And now if I go ahead and refresh the report, that filter pane will go away. And then I could, I, I could then re-embed this report into my uh, PowerPoint, and then that filter panel here will go. Cool. So that's it, that's first tip. Uh, second tip, let me jump back to presentation. Um, there is, uh, oh, here it is. It is this option here. You can collapse and un um, show and hide the toolbar. Quick tip right there. Okay, so here's another tip. I've switched back to my PowerPoint where I'm, I'm editing my slide deck. If you go to any of your visuals that you've added, and I'm gonna go to this example where I've got the full report, if you go down here to the bottom left of your report, you're gonna see live data. If I click this, I can actually bring up a thing where I can have, I can actually convert this to a snapshot. And again, now this takes it back to an image, so now I have an image of the report. Um, so that's another option as well. And you can then quickly just switch it back to live data and it'll just reload the report. So that's it. That's all you have to do to embed either 
uh, your Power BI report itself or just individual visuals directly into your PowerPoint slide deck and then have them be interactive. So hope you found this helpful. Again, I'm gonna to continue to do more um, videos on integrating Power BI with uh, other applications. So if you like this, please hit the like button and subscribe for further videos. Thank you very much.